Hey guys, it's Liz from the Quick Journey blog, and I've had a couple people who have seen my boho crown braid that I do and um, has asked me to do a tutorial. So instead of doing a regular blog tutorial, I thought I would do a vlog or a video tutorial, and um, hopefully that would help you to see how I do it a little bit better. I did my hair, let it air dry yesterday for church, and um, Gave it a little body and used some sea salt spray in my hair and today I haven't even brushed it. This is just the mess that I kind of woke up with. And it's totally good if you want to use messy hair for the braid. I mean it just works better. The braid isn't supposed to look perfect and pretty and it's supposed to look kind of effortless. So this is what I'm working with today. When I start doing my braid, I separate my hair out a little bit. I don't normally have a perfect part around um, between the hair that's braided and the hair that's not. I just kind of go with it. I don't have time to be perfect because I have four kids, so I just do what I can do. Um, I start by parting one side of my hair like this, and I will clip this part back. Okay, so I have that. And then I'll kind of do it on the other side just so I can keep it let's see, a little symmetrical all the way across. Okay, and then this is how I go about it. Brush my hair over a little bit. And now I'm going to start braiding. And again, it's not going to be perfect and your arms will probably get tired um, until you get to the other side so just be prepared for a little bit of pain as you're braiding so I just do French braid you can go do an inside out braid which has the braid on top but I like this a little bit better and you need to make sure that as you braid you pull it across your head that you don't just keep braiding in the same spot that you kind of pull it as you go. You want to make sure that you keep your braid kind of towards the front of your face. Don't pull it way back here on your head. Keep it kind of forward so that you can see the braid from the front without having to tip your head down. Now right now I'm braiding my hair kind of tight and then when I get to the end I'll loosen it up and kind of get, so it has some texture. Sorry, I feel like it's kind of hard for you to see. Now I'm going to drop this out so I can go ahead and take the braid on down and behind my head. And I use the hair kind of at the edge of my hairline. Now I'm just going to bobby pin it down here. Okay. Now I'll let this side out. And you can leave it like this if you want with your hair down. But I normally pull it up. What I'm going to do first, this piece is kind of sticking out a little more than I prefer. But I just take my hands like I'm going to scrub my head in the shower and I just loosen it up a bit. Like I said, if it doesn't look perfect, that's totally cool with me. And I might even pull some pieces over here. Alright, now I'm going to take a twisty tie and just pull it back in a messy, messy bun.
there you have it. If you are wanting a little more happening up front, you can always pull some pieces down and mess it up a little bit, but that is kind of how I do my boho crown braid. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks.